Hi guys, this is Lisa Halligan and Will Halligan from lisahalligan.com. And um, today we are on our third episode of Creating a Vision. Yay! So on the first day, you don't know what we talked about. You weren't with me, huh? No. On the first day, we talked about reviewing last year, going through our journals, our calendars, um, our Facebook posts, our tweets, whatever you have to help you figure out what you did last year. And really think about what worked, what didn't work, what you would like to do more of, what you don't want to see happen again, and help, you know, that's going to help you a lot in determining your vision for the future. And then yesterday we talked about planning, looking at the present, you know, where do things stand? <laughs> Not that kind of present, honey. Um, looking at where do things stand right now and are you happy with it? Yeah. You're thirsty? Can we finish the video and then I'll get you a drink? No. No? You want to go get a drink? You want my coffee? He wants my coffee. No coffee. Hold on. I will get you something nice in a little bit, okay? No, no, so, no, no, no. Anyway, so today we're going to discuss the future. Mom. Yeah? Mom, you're, thirsty. you're really thirsty? And you'd really like my coffee? You would, huh? I'll, I'll make you some cocoa when we're done, okay? Okay. So today we're going to talk about creating a vision. Um, if you don't design your life plan, chances are you're going to fall into somebody else's plan. And guess what they've planned for you? As the great late Jim Rohn said, not much. Somebody else's plan isn't for you, for you is not much. So we've reflected on the past and assessed the present, and now we're going to create a compelling vision for our life that does not involve coffee for two-year-olds. Um, the goal right now is to create a compelling vision for the next three years. Research has shown that the longer the time span that we take into consideration when planning and acting, the more likely we are to achieve success. Um, we're more willing to make sacrifices in the short term if we can see that there's a better result ahead for us in the long term. So what we really need to do is create a three-year vision. Um, Rick Warren once said that I can do less than I think in a year, but I can do more than I think I can in five years. So, oh, hey, there's your cup. Um, so what we want to do is answer the question, what do you want your life to look like in three years? You need to really develop a vivid picture of all the important areas of your life, what they look like and what they're going to look like and feel like in three years time. So in three years, you are going to be five years old, almost six. Yeah. And we'll have two more kids out of the house. So life's going to look a lot different in three years for us. So um, here's some questions you can use to kind of trigger thoughts. What am I working towards? What kind of person do I want to become? Yes, William. You have no idea what you want, huh? You're really hungry. We will get a snack after this. What do you want to have accomplished? What do you want to create? What do you want your finances to be like? Who do you want to be spending your time with? What would a perfect day look like? What do you want your body of work to be like? What legacy do you want to leave behind? What do I want to be doing? Okay. And don't worry about it being perfectly worded. The important thing is to write down your thoughts and ideas. We can always tidy up wording, grammar, all that stuff at a later stage. Um, Margaret Thatcher once said, standing in the middle of the road is very dangerous because you get down, knocked down by traffic from both sides. So the last step is to create a theme for the year ahead. Your theme is a simple statement, captures the essence of your vision and summary as a focus for the year ahead. So to create your theme for next year, you want to write just short sentences. What is the next year going to be about? Where are we going to focus time, money, and energy? And then that's it. You've, you've looked at the past. You've assessed the present. You have a vision for the future. You know your three-year plan and you have a theme for the year ahead. Our theme, my theme for the year coming up is um, simplicity and organization. Um, I might add focus in there as well. I don't have it really well defined yet. I'm still working on it. But simplicity, organization, focus. Um, and we're going to try and streamline things around here, which can be very challenging in a house that still has six of our eight children living in it. Uh, a lot of chickens, a lot of rabbits. Well, okay, no chickens right now. A lot of rabbits, um, a dog, a cat. It can be kind of crazy. So. No cats. No cat. We have a cat. Marlo's a cat. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we have a cat. Not all so, cats. So, if you have any questions, please. Not all cats. Not all the cats, no. Just that would be one. All, Just one. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Can Feel free to share two? this. You want two cats? Yeah. We'll talk about it. Um, and I'm going to be putting together some handouts. I will put a link to them underneath this and the other two videos in this series. Um, and tomorrow we're going to start talking about how clutter affects your health. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Say bye, Will. Bye. Bye.